What is up you guys, this is FS Madness Pilot and today we're going to be doing a series on how you can create sceneries for FS 2020. Now today we're going to be starting with an airport called Usana Brook, located in Germany, Echo Delta Whiskey Oscar. Uh, we're starting with this airport because it's a small airfield and it has most of the things that you would need to create any other airport. Uh, the bigger airports just have like bigger runways, uh, more taxiways, uh, uh, jetways, uh, which are very easy to figure out through the SDK documentation. But later on, when we're done with the series, I can go ahead in depth with that. But I'm sure someone is going to already go through it. Uh, so today, we're going to start the first step of creating scenery for FS 2020. Now, I'm going to direct you guys to a link if you do not know how to turn on your developer mode in FS 2020 and install the SDK. So if you can go ahead and click the link above right now, it's going to be displayed on top. Uh, and then come back to this tutorial when you're done with installing the SDK and enabling developer mode in the sim. Now we're ready. The first thing I like to do is actually start my scenery by getting photo uh, imagery for my scenery. So in this case, I just went to Google Earth. You can go ahead and download Google Earth. The link is down below in the description. And what I did is in the map options, so you won't see this map options, but if you go to view and let me turn back everything again. So this is how you would see Google uh, Earth. And when you type in the airport that you want to do for in this instance, we're doing Echo Delta Whiskey Os uh, Oscar. Um, now, how you can turn off the labels and everything. Uh, if you go down this list on the left side here, make sure you have everything unchecked so you don't see anything. Uh, now, uh, how we can take an image of this so we can use it for uh, something called geo-referencing. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go to File, Save, and Save Image. Now once you've done that, you would get this pop-up and you can select the resolution. So I'm going to select the maximum, which is 4800 by 2758 pixels. And in the map options, make sure you have all the elements unchecked, which they were, they were like this. So make sure you have everything unchecked. And make sure you have the colored one and just press uh, outside the box. Uh, I just like to turn off my sidebar. That's okay. And I just align my airport in the center. Um, and make sure that I am looking downwards and not, not on the side. So just use your middle mouse button and just point upwards. And you should be looking uh, directly at it. So once you have like the airport in the middle and you want to go ahead and take the image you just press on the save image and we're gonna go ahead and name this echo delta whiskey oscar uh, image i'm just saving it on my desktop because we're gonna create our folder and uh, organize everything so we're just waiting for this to finish okay now once that's done uh, let me get rid of the test if you go ahead and open it you have a high resolution uh, image of the airfield. Now, next step is we're gonna go to your documents. So I went to my documents and just create inside this folder of the documents a folder called My FS Projects. You don't have to name it My FS Projects, but I just named it for, for like the tutorials that's in the SDK. So once you've created that folder, that's that's where it's gonna have like all your uh, scenery add-ons that you're doing. I'm just currently working on Garda, Garda Airport for uh, in Egypt, uh, so we're just gonna keep that on the side. I'm just gonna create a new folder, and I'm gonna name it uh, Echo Golf Whiskey Oscar. Okay, and I'm gonna create another another folder and name it the same, but I'm gonna call it Ariel. So Echo Golf Whiskey Oscar area. Okay, now we have uh, our photo reel scenery and we have the scenery where we're gonna have like our runways and taxiways and aprons and the models. So for the area, uh, I'm gonna show you what I have for uh, Garda. So you need to have, uh, you need to you need to copy a folder that's located in your C drive. So we're going to go to our C drive and get that. 
when you installed your SDK, you should get a folder in your C drive called MSFS SDK folder. Open it. And once you're there, go to samples. And you should find one that's called simple area. So I'm just going to open that. And I'm just going to copy everything inside. Now once I've copied it, I'm just going to paste it in here. And we go inside the package sources. We go inside CGL. And inside the Arial images. You should find a couple of images which have the Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, images. We're just going to go ahead and delete that. So once you have that, you are all ready for creating your first Arial image. So I'm just going to minimize this folder. And we're going to start. So the first program you need is QGIS, which the link is down below in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Now what this is going to do is actually help you uh, do something called georeferencing, which is lining up this Google image on top of the Bing image. And it's going to give the simulator coordinates so it can place it in the simulator accurately, basically. Uh, now once you open QGIS, this is what you should see. Now on the left side, you should not see the Bing. Uh, you should not see that under XYZ tiles. But if you go ahead and right click and press new connection, uh, you should find the link down below in the description for, uh, for the connection and just name it Bing and then just press OK. Uh, I'm going to show you how it looks like if you want to copy it from the video. So I just named it Bing and I just pasted this link in. Okay, now once you have that done, just double click on Bing. And it should have the map of the world. Now, go ahead and zoom in. Where is the airport? So once you guys found your airport on the QGIS, on the Bing maps, you can go ahead and the first thing you want to do is go to... You want to go ahead and press on raster up here. Once you're at raster, go to georeferencer. Now at this stage, I forgot to go ahead and mask the image. So I opened it in Photoshop and I was feathering it out. Uh, I was feathering the edges. So when it uh, overlays over the scenery in FS2020, it blends in. So we have to do that part before uh, going into QGIS. Now once you guys are done with the uh, feathering of your image, make sure to save it as a PNG and not a JPEG. Go to GeoReferencer. Now once you're in here, you're gonna go ahead and press on the open raster. Now because I forgot uh, the part of actually feathering the image before importing it into uh, QGIS, so what I want you guys to do is import the feathered image into QGIS and not the Google image that is the default with borders. So you want to import the feathered version and then start your uh, georeferencing. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the edge of this runway, so the bottom left, and press on from map canvas and find the bottom left of the runway which looks to be here. Uh, and then press OK. Now it should have a dot here. Now I'm gonna go to the top right of this threshold because like, I'm pretty sure it has the same thing. Didn't change. I'm gonna go to the top right of the threshold. Press OK. And just keep uh, referencing uh, uh, points until you feel satisfied. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and press play. Press preset transformation type. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna select the transformation type as thin plate spline. The resampling mode uh, method is nearest neighbor. The target SRS is sudo mercator. And where you wanna actually output this is gonna be, you can choose anywhere. Uh, in this case, I'm just choosing my desktop. And now once you've done the same settings, you can go ahead and press okay. Now once you're done, you just press play. And if you're successful, <coughs> if you can go ahead and press the X button for this, 
<clears throat> now once you guys have uh, g-referenced your image it should uh, be blended in the scene as you can see it kind of is kind of rough right now but it's okay you can do fine adjustments uh, later on well i'm just gonna show you the basics after you have done this what you will do so the next step is actually turning off the bing map that's under it so turn that off and we're gonna make sure we select this and we're gonna go ahead and uh, go in the processing toolbox on the right side now if you do not see the uh, processing toolbox on the right side if you go to uh, the processing tab on the top and press toolbox it should appear uh, now what we're gonna do is we need to export this as tiles so uh, FS2020 can read this so what we have to do is we go to Okay, find on the right side raster tools. Once you've clicked on it, you should see where it says generate XYZ tiles directory. Now, if you click on it, double click on it, and you should see where it says minimum zoom. We're gonna make it 19. The maximum zoom is 19. DPI is the same. The tile format should be PNG for the highest quality. You don't wanna uh, mess around with the quality here. Uh, make sure everything is the same. Now, what you want to do is choose the output directory is where you want to actually like save the tiles to. So I'm gonna actually go inside uh, my desktop and just create a folder and call it tiles, um, egwo, and I'm gonna just select that folder. So the 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 missing part was you see where it says extent. If you click this and set, press on calculate from layer and press on the layer that you've created which you have checked on the left side so check that and press run so once you guys reach this point where you have the tiles to being extracted on your desktop and you have the tile that you have run from the QGIS now comes the time where we convert it so the FS2020 uh, can read it so step one we're gonna go ahead and open the tile to being folder we're gonna go ahead and create a new text document and name it test or whatever you want to name it and what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open the uh, where it says tiles to bat so I can go ahead and press edit and as you can see you don't want to change anything you're just gonna take a copy of this where it says tiles to being blah 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 uh, I'll leave, I'll, leave, uh, I'll leave it in the description if you don't want to do that. Now once you've pasted that in, just do what it says. So the input of your tiles. So my input of my tiles is this. So I'm going to go ahead and open uh, this and copy the root of this folder. And I'm just going to paste it in this area. And just in between quotations make sure it's in and we're gonna do the same for the output so create a folder inside your tiles folder call it whatever finished or whatever i called it converted i'm gonna go ahead inside it copy that and i'm gonna replace the output folder with that and also don't forget the quotation mark now where it says tms I just scroll here the TMS we're gonna name it Google and we're gonna save that file as uh, BAT so file save as I'm just gonna keep it in that folder uh, we're gonna name it run and dot BAT make sure where it says save as type is all files press save okay now once we're done we can go ahead and run this BAT and it's done it's have it's it's run the conversion and as you can see in the converted folder if i go ahead and zoom in yep all our files have been converted successfully now once you have uh, got the folder where you have everything converted you can just go ahead and copy so control a control c oh oops i did a copy and we're gonna go to remember the folder we did in the, our documents in our myfs project i'm gonna go to it and i'm gonna enter the egwo aerial i'm gonna inside the package sources cgl 
and aerial images we're just gonna go ahead and paste this in here now once you have that pasted we're just gonna double check what's inside of here if we need any changes to be made nothing has to be changed in here so that's fine uh, now we can go ahead and open the flight sim and i'll show you how you can set it up now once you've reached the flight sim the main menu you can go ahead and turn on the developer mode like so now on the top left you can see dev mode press on it and then press open project now once you have done that you should find your simple aerial project.xml file now double click on it and it should load now once you load it make sure you have the inspector open on the right side if you don't have it open press on view here and check the inspector now once you're done go ahead and click on my company and once you click on it you should see a button that says build package and now when it's done it should tell you that there's nothing to be done right over here now i'm gonna minimize that and minimize our project editor and inspector and i'm gonna go ahead and spawn into the airport to uh, go ahead and check if it <coughs> was successful so echo delta was kiosk and i'm just gonna go ahead and press fly now as you can see guys we have spawned in and if i go ahead and press ready to fly and on the top we can press on the developer camera and press options and press pause simulation now you can go ahead and move around the area by using wasd and f uh, and then Q and E to go up and down. So I'm just gonna check that this is actually my um, my Google uh, image. To do that, I'm just gonna go to the edges because I know that I messed up the edges. And as you can see, the edges are messed up, and the color is a bit different. So I know that this is working. Now, once I go ahead and do the uh, if I go to uh, tools and then project editor and if I go ahead and just close that out it was supposed to like close but it didn't but anyways oh because I didn't close the project yet okay hang on so if I do project and then close it should it should re uh, respawn Actually, when we respawn, it's going to be gone. But what, have you, what we've done is basically now we can actually add it into the simulator. So we don't have to like reload it uh, through the uh, project editor. So to do that, we're going to go uh, to our my documents and to our uh, simple area folder. And if we go to packages and this package where it says my company dash Arial, if you didn't change it, all you can do right now is just copy it and you can paste it into your community folder. And I'm just gonna rename it as Echo Delta Whiskey uh, Area. So that's done. Uh, and that's uh, step one of creating uh, scenery for Echo Delta Whiskey Oscar. Uh, the next step is actually putting in the runways and the next step is actually putting runways and setting up everything for the development. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys would love this series. Goodbye.